up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties. I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. Today we are in our smart doll room because I bought a smart doll. Shipping was super fast and I am so excited because this is a box. We'll place that right there because this is a pair. Smart Doll has a new body type that they named Pear. For us Barbie collectors, it's pretty much a curvy. Here is the Smart Doll Marvel right out of the box. She comes wearing dark gray undergarments with orange elastic right under the chest and at the waist. Let's open the box. We get a card that says Smart Doll Care Guide on the back with tips like avoid direct sunlight, do not submerge in water, never feed after midnight. We also have her wig, comes in a plastic drawstring bag and a hairnet. It has a little wave to it. Let's place it onto the doll. Grab the stand out of the box. It's adjustable. Place it into the doll's back, creating a tripod so she can stand. And our new smart doll, Marvel, is ready to go. This doll has lavender eyes, lavender eyeshadow, soft blush on her cheeks. There's a soft reddish color on her lips. Did you see that? When we shine a little bit of light right onto her. Oh my goodness, look at all those highlights on her skin. And her eyes, her eyes just pop. This doll is articulated. We have movement at the head. Like other smart dolls, her body is kind of soft and flexible, so we can move her neck. There's a joint at the shoulder, the elbow, wrist, at the chest, hip, knee, and ankle. Here's Marvel standing next to the smart doll reflection. These dolls stand about 24 inches tall. The pear doll does have a higher price, than the original body type. For Marvel, I paid about 467 US dollars at the time. The price may fluctuate a little bit because of the changes in currency. I have a decent amount of smart doll clothes from Elite Doll World on Etsy, like this fluffy robe, and I want to see what will fit our new doll. The robe totally works so she can be nice and cozy chilling in the doll room. Let's try these gray joggers and this blue top. The joggers are a little snug, but we were able to get them on and the shirt works pretty good. I had no problems there. Let's try this. Oh yes, this totally works. The fabric does pull just a little across the chest and the doll stand is creating a little tent in the back. But from the front, it looks like a nice little dress. So I'll keep her in this until the new clothes that I ordered arrive, or until I finish my new pattern. I think she is adorable. I love the shape of her face. All of my smart dolls are named after Star Trek characters. So we're gonna rename Marvel Michael from Star Trek Discovery. I picked up these Glitter Girl accessory packs on Amazon. Glitter Girls are a 14 inch doll, I think. Yep, it says so right here. Oh, and on the box. But I was wondering if we could use some of their accessories with our dolls, whether that's our 12 inch dolls or our 24 inch dolls. This is the donut baking set. I got it for $9.70. It comes in a box. Let's open it and take a look. There's a pink hand mixer. The little whisk or whatever these are called are very soft. You can almost like bend them however you want. Compared to a Barbie, I think it's a little large. However, with a smart doll, I think it could work. There's a mixing bowl, which could be used as a large mixing bowl for a Barbie or a small bowl for a smart doll. There are four eggs on a tray. They might be a little large for a Barbie, but perfect for a smart doll. There's a bag of raw sugar. Feels like there is foam inside. There's a pink jar of sugar. The lid can open. I think this is kind of pretty. A pink spatula. 
a butter dish with butter, a small bottle of milk, which might be a little underscale for the smart doll, but a decent size for a Barbie. There's a scoop that we can use with the sugar, or maybe flour. Was this supposed to be flour? There's a bottle of chocolate syrup and a box of donuts with a pink ribbon. We can open it and remove the donuts that are a decent size for a smart doll, but a little oversized for a Barbie. I would use most of these items with a smart doll, but probably give the milk to a Barbie. I also picked up the Glitter Girls breakfast set. I thought that little tea kettle was too cute. I had to check it out. I paid $7.30 for this one on Amazon. Here's the kettle. It is adorable. It's kind of a salmon color with silver painted details. Love the design, but it's definitely too large for a Barbie. But I kind of love it with a smart doll. It's a small tea kettle, but I would totally use it anyway. And there are teacups with little saucers. These are adorable. We get two along with two plates, two small bowls, two glasses with an ornate design. I kind of love it. There's a napkin holder and two fabric napkins. Another bottle of milk. There is a glitter jar of cereal where the lid can open. A loaf of bread, two small slices of bread, a jar of jam where the lid can be removed, two metallic butter knives, and two matching spoons, which look great with our smart dolls. And we can mix and match items from the other set. I'm gonna pretend like this is sugar and we can add the butter as well to create a scene for our dolls. Speaking of making stuff, let's make a heart-shaped lollipop since it's Valentine's Day. Using hot glue, a paper clip, parchment paper, or a silicone mat, and nail polish. We're gonna make this similar to how we did the popsicles from Zootopia. I take a white-coated paper clip and unfold it, lay it onto the mat, then use the glue gun to make a large drop of glue. Make sure the paper clip is touching it and drag the end just a little so we can try to form a heart. Repeat on the other side to complete the heart. When it cools, we can remove it from the mat, brush it with a thin coat of nail polish. Once dried, trim the bottom to make an easy heart lollipop for a doll. This is an easy project to size down for a smaller doll. Just make a smaller heart. And it's super quick. Just five minutes or less plus drawing time and you're done. Happy crafting. And let's add some flowers to the table using a plastic bottle top, cardstock, paper roses, and ribbon. Cut a strip of paper or cardstock. I cut this at an inch and a half. Then I cut a second strip a little over a quarter of an inch. Wrap and glue the larger strip around the bottle cap to make a paper tube. We can remove the bottle cap so we can use it again, or we can glue it in place for stability. If you choose to remove it, just glue it onto recycled paperboard with hot glue, trim off the excess, wrap the thinner strip around the bottom, glue in the flowers, just enough so it fills the cylinder. Place a sticker on the front if you like, or draw a design. Add a ribbon and a bow to make our smart dolls flowers for Valentine's Day. And it's the perfect addition to brighten up the table at tea time. Thank you for joining us while we showed our smart dolls a little love. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my Froggy Stuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see you next time. 